Welcome everybody to Limbic Arcs, A Call with Dr. Cook. My name is George Wright and uh, I'm happy to welcome Dr. Cook. It's funny, here we are already, it's uh, August, the end of August, and I don't know where time goes. It seems to go so fast. <laughs> I know that the leaves are starting to turn here. It's crazy. <laughs> you know, we look forward to this call every month. It's, it's kind of fun to be able to get a, a window inside the founder and, and, and see how he sees and views Limbic Arc as such a powerful tool. So I'm, I'm excited to talk about um, our call today. So uh, I hope everybody's ready to go. Um, I guess, first of all, we have got, we are proud to announce the addition of 31 new boost ingredients. And uh, they should be live on your app right now. And I'm looking at uh, a lot of these ingredients, Dr. Cook, and I see some interesting ones in there. Do you, is there anything in common that you see with these? Well, the, the, there's a new info boost that's uh, also live today. It's called uh, Sexual Wellness. And all of these items okay. are included in that info boost, along with about another 20 besides these. Uh, wow. In, in, in this group, uh, we've actually put in some uh, homeopathic remedies like Apis mellifica. That's a homeopathic belladonna. Uh, we we put in a number of these are Chinese herbs. Uh, we've also put in some, uh, the, on the right-hand side, you see the TCM. Those are acupuncture points. So C3 is conception vessel three. Uh, all of those uh, relate to sexual wellness. And so that's why we put them in. And uh, it's kind of a fun thing to do. <laughs> wow. What a what a powerful new tool. So, I, you know, I mean, I, we can get right after it, Doctor Cook. I mean, it's uh, it's always fun to to hear your presentations. Um, this one, I think, will come with a lot of interest for a lot of people. Well, let's do it here. Let me share my screen. Did I share it right, George? I can see it. It looks it looks it looks okay. great. Very good. So uh, sexual health, sexual wellness, uh, these are the two medical symbols, one for male and one for female. If you equate that to uh, TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, female is a predominantly a yang uh, characteristic, male is a, a, I'm sorry, female is a yin characteristic, male is a yang characteristic. And in reality, nobody is absolutely yang or absolutely yin. So uh, I'll give you an example, George. Uh, there are different yang characteristics. For example, uh, you have more hair on your head than I do. Uh, more hair is a yang uh, characteristic. Uh, uh, I'm a little bit taller than you are, as I recall. So uh, tall is a yang characteristic. Okay. Um, female is a yin characteristic. Male is a yang characteristic. So Yin and Yang are just two ways to categorize everything in the universe uh, in, in opposing type categories. And because no one is absolutely Yin or absolutely Yang, everybody is uh, male and everybody is female. The reason that you and I are both males is that we are predominantly Yang and, uh, and our wives are predominantly Yin and so they're female. So, but uh, as we go through this, you'll see how uh, we're kind of a, a conglomeration of everything. The uh, endocrine system is shown here in this slide. <clears throat> Those are the organs and glands or the glands that uh, produce hormones. Uh, in Chinese medicine, that would be equated essentially roughly to the triple warmer meridian. There may be some acupuncturists who would think I'm a, a heretic for saying that, but that's, that's the correlation. Uh, there are uh, a lot of different hormones in the body. And you can see on this slide, a little closer look at some of these uh, endocrine glands and, and the hormones that they produce. There are other, uh, there's a ton of hormones that are produced in the body. Not all of them come from the endocrine system. There are some that are produced in the heart. Uh, uh, adipose tissue, fat actually produces some hormones. You see when you see estrogens that are produced in fat. Uh, here are some others. The liver is not is not officially a member of the endocrine system, but it produces hormones, the stomach as well. So we have a lot of hormones at work, and hormones characteristically have uh, 
it doesn't take a lot of quantity to create a significant physiological change. One of the reasons for that is because hormones have a very uh, pure signal. So they're the noise to signal ratio with the hormone is, is very low. In other words, there's the signal's high and the noise is low. So if you get a little bit of uh, progesterone in your body, it has a profound effect throughout your entire body. Okay. And then we get down into the sex organs and, and you can see the, the hormones that are created there. Now, what we're gonna talk about today are primarily three of the sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. Testosterone, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, the more young of those three, estrogen and progesterone are more yin. And so men will have more testosterone than women do, but women have testosterone and they need it. And men also have estrogen and progesterone, but we just have it in, in low quantities. This is a slide that shows us what happens uh, in, the, in the life of a man uh, with our testosterone levels. At about the age of 30, we reach our maximum production of testosterone. And then through the remaining course of our life, it just diminishes uh, over time. And you can see uh, from the chart how that, ha I mean, the way that happens. Um, testosterone will affect these things. So as this, as this man ages, and his testosterone level goes down, he'll have a reduced muscle mass, and this goes for all of us, uh, increased body fat, our mood changes, we'll get, have mood swings, uh, have problems with erections, reduced bone mass, difficult sleepy, sleeping, lower sex drives, and hair loss. All of those are indications of a diminishing production of testosterone. Now, women, on the other hand, uh, they kind of have the same trend, but their trend is with estrogen and progesterone. And you can see here at the top there with the yellow arrow, it says estradiol. That's one of the main estrogen hormones. And, and so that's the estrogen. And you can see purple line here. It moves across the screen and it continues up. Progesterone also, it, progesterone is fairly flat until this line, this menarche, that's actually the first menstrual period of a, of a young woman. And the, the progesterone and the estrogen continues to increase in quantity until a woman is about 20 years old. And then at 20 years, the production of estrogen and progesterone starts to diminish. And you can see that it diminishes over the course of her life. Between the ages of 45 and 55 is when most women go through menopause. And you can see there's a dramatic a drop, uh, primarily it's a drop in progesterone, but both of those will drop. And as those go down, women will experience more abdominal pain, breast tenderness, vaginal dryness, mood swings, headaches, low blood sugar, difficulty sleeping, a lowered sex drive, more prone to UTI, that's urinary tract infection, and sex may be painful. In addition, women, because they're more hormonally complex than men. Uh, this is a typical menstrual cycle of, of a woman. This is what happens with her hormones during that cycle. So on the right, or I'm sorry, on the left, this would be when her period starts. And then uh, each one of those lines represents a day. And you can see that the estrogen increases up to the point where she ovulates. When she ovulates, then when she, that's when she can become uh, impregnated. And after, if she doesn't get pregnant, then, then uh, she'll, she'll uh, ovulate, and the, but the egg then just is, is uh, discarded. And her progesterone level will then begin to increase. And a few days before her, her menstrual cycle starts again, uh, you can see that that progesterone gets at its peak. Sometimes women will experience uh, what's called premenstrual syndrome or PMS. And one of the causes of that is this increase in progesterone. It, it makes uh, women you know, act in ways that they normally don't act. But quite often, that, that's an allergic reaction. They actually have build up a sensitivity to their own progesterone. 
And when the progesterone level gets higher and higher, then this, this uh, sensitivity, uh, it really wouldn't be an allergy, but it's a sensitivity. The reaction then is all of the uh, PMS symptoms. So, uh, man, we need to be, um, <laughs> we need to be appreciative of women because their bodies are way more complex than ours are. Yeah, there's you know, a lot going on. There is a lot going on. And, uh, you know, they have different moods and different thought processes. And to a large part, all of us, those thought processes and those moods are driven by hormones. So let's relate that now to limbic arc. Uh, let's assume that we have a woman who has painful periods and and she could persist. So all these blue shards we've got showing here, the little blue arrows, those are called future focused vectors. Those are the decision points that will take her in a direction and for a given distance. So they're called vectors. And she may make some choices that will improve her state so that she does not have a painful period. Or she may just stay with the status quo, or she may make choices that actually make her, her, uh, her menstrual cycle more painful. The, and uh, some examples of this, George, would be, you know, let's say the woman says, uh, well, I don't know why I have such bad periods. Maybe it's because I'm drinking five cups of coffee every day. So I think I'll quit drinking coffee, but I think I'll just drink a six pack of Coke instead. Or maybe I'm going to uh, stop eating so much refined sugar and I'm going to eat more vegetables. So these are just all the choices, but there's an infinite number of choices that any one of us can make at any given time. And, and the choices we make will then put us on a path that will take us to some future reality. Sure. It will have and, the consequence. Exactly. And the question then is, well, how do I choose? You know, how do I know which one of these future focused vectors is really best for me at this point in time. What we have done with Limbic Arc is we have created a database in the cloud and we have put into that database what we call boost ingredients or virtual items. And those items are future focused vectors. The question still remains, okay, you got, we've got this group and, and I don't know how big the group is, George, now, but with these 32 31 we've just added, we're probably close to 500 items in that database, I think. That's right. It's it's expanding every month. And yeah, we're somewhere around that number now. I can get a count. Well, we, and I don't know that it's important to be exact because it'll be different tomorrow as we add more things. But, uh, but the question then still is, which of those uh, uh, future-focused vectors will be most beneficial for me? So we've invented what we call the Spark Scan. And the Spark Scan requires a couple of real time biometric inputs. The first input is voice analysis. So, when you hit the uh, Spark Scan button on your Limbic Arc app, uh, you then talk. Now, this woman uh, would probably want to talk about her painful period. And she might say something like, Boy, these periods that I get are just killing me. Uh, they hurt, and I'm grumpy, and I have PMS a few days before, and my husband thinks I'm an idiot. And, you know, it's really strange, our relationship. So she could talk about it in a negative sense like that, or she could say, I really want to have a smooth period every month, you know, so, so she can talk positively. But if she stays on focus, the reason why that is a strategy that works is, that, is because voice is topic-specific. When I talk about a topic, I actually carry with that voice all the information, all of my perceptions and my beliefs and my memories around the topic. And all that energy comes through in my voice. Limbic Arc will pick up that energy and it does what's called a voice analysis and it creates a, a voice map or a vocal map. And that vocal map will then appear five times on the screen and you touch it every time, every time it appears. And then uh, we take that input, that's the real-time input, we take that input and we create what's called a spark. The spark is a catalyst that ignites an algorithm that we've developed that then processes those future-focused vectors in the database and gives each of them a percentage score. The, the score is called an outcome ratio. And the higher the number, the more likely that vector or that virtual item will carry you in the direction that you're interested in. So you look at the ones with the higher numbers, 
and you select them. And so this woman may select Thuya, that's a homeopathic remedy. She may select Spleen 6, that's an acupuncture point. You can see it indicated the location on the woman's leg there. And maybe she takes B12, maybe those are the three highest scoring things. And she selects those and then activates that. And the information then through a field effect is transmitted from the database in the cloud to the, the account owner. So the, the woman who does this, it'll go, it'll be transmitted to her. That's, that happens through, through what's called a field effect. And so it's not like we call her up and send this information to her through her telephone. She's actually, there's a quantum connection between the woman and the database. And that's how the information is transmitted. And hopefully the end result will be a better quality of life. Uh, the next time her period comes due, uh, we would hope she has a better experience. Now, I will tell you that we're, that, that limbic arc is not designed to diagnose or treat any kind of a disease. So uh, we're not hoping to figure out why this woman has painful periods uh, or why this man has, you know, low sex drive or why you might have anything to do with your life sexually. And we're not looking to correct those problems. You know, this is not like you're getting an injection of testosterone or, 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 or progesterone. This is just an information transfer. But our goal is to improve quality of life. And so for whatever reason, if the next time this woman has a period, she has a more pleasant experience, we expect her quality of life is going to be better. You know, right. she's going to be getting along better with her husband. She's going to feel better. She's going to have more energy. She's, she's not going to feel like she's got to go to bed for three days. And, and because of, uh, in this slide, you know, we're seeing the triad of health. If we can improve any corner on this triangle, the function, the emotion, or the energy, uh, it's going to have a ripple effect on every other aspect. So if her body functions better physically, she'll have more energy and she'll feel emotionally better. And the cool thing about limbic arc is you can talk about or you can approach any aspect of your life. Remember, this is not a medical tool. It's not a diagnoser and a fixer of diseases. It's a quality of life enhancer. And if what I need in my life to improve the quality of my life is, say, more money or a better relationship with my family or more energy or more strength, all I need to do is talk about what I desire and what happens is that conversation into the app will then bias the scan in the direction of what my topic was. And the outcome is it will score virtual items that will have a stronger propensity to get me to my desired outcome, my desired future reality. And so you'll see that on when you do a spark scan, you'll see that little percentage next to the ingredients. That's what you're talking That's right. About. Yeah. And that wow. was the end. <laughs> you know, it's 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 amazing to know that um, there's so much power in this app, in this tool, and it's just there, it's just our ability to to use it. And so I, I guess with like any info boost, Dr. Cook, it, it, you know, how would you know if you would want to use the sexual health info boost or I, well you i you let's say that you're getting older you know george did you get older this morning when you woke up I, i'm a day older I, than yesterday <laughs> and i think part of it is it's age you know if i'm 25 years old i might not be too concerned because you know my body's still producing you know an increasing amount of testosterone but you know i'm not 25 anymore and so my body is not producing the amount of testosterone it used to. Yeah. And that's going to have an effect on me. Now, it, 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 I may not be a basket case. And so I don't think you have to be a basket case. But, you know, I might have, you know, less energy or maybe my hair is falling out. No, that's not true, is it, George? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, so there are just lots of reasons why you would want to use uh, the, the sexual wellness info boost. Right. And, and it doesn't mean that you're going to be, you know, if I'm going to use this, then I'm going to be the sexiest man on the planet. But if I can be a man who's got more energy, who's got a better mood, who's easier to be around, who's nicer, 
who doesn't look as emaciated as I used to, you know, I mean, you know, there's lots of advantages to this, to this oh. stuff we call sex. And it has, you know, and it's more, it, it, there's more to it than just, you know, uh, procreating. So. Right. Well, it's, wouldn't we all like to feel like we're 18 again, you know, and, and, and that maybe this well, is a way to help out. Get those, I don't know if we want to feel that way again. Hormones. Yeah, it does. It is. It's hormones are amazing things. They're awesome things. Wow. Well, Dr. Cook, again, thank you for for the insights into that. This is uh, an exciting new info boost, and it is available. I would remind you that you can go into your app right now. You can find that info boost when, and we would encourage you to go ahead and, and do the Spark Scan and go ahead and yeah. and try it and and see what happens. It's 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 there. It's part of the value adds to your app just by being a member of the Limbic Arc community. So. George, let me mention something about that info boost. Uh, when you go in there, you'll notice that there are items that are uh, specifically beneficial for yin, and some are specifically beneficial for yang. In other words, you might look at that list and say, oh, well, this is a woman's remedy and this is a man's remedy. Why are they both included in the sexual, in sexual wellness info boost? It's because we are all yin and yang. And it may be that uh, what I need, you know, I might think, oh, all I need is more testosterone. When in fact, maybe what I need is a uh, a little tweak on my estrogen. Uh, and that might be the issue. So when you do the spark scan, if you see things that show up with the high number that you might think doesn't have anything to do to you with you because it's your, your gender is one way or the other, uh, give it a try anyway. And again, remember, this is not medical. It's not like you're taking a medicine here. You're not getting an injection of something. or So so you'll see female and male things all mixed together in that info boost. Right. And and what you're doing truly is you're using the information from your body, from the spark scan. So these are things that your body is is looking to and, and would understand what to do with probably instantly. So I would expect, I, w- I would hope so. I would expect so. Yeah. Well, what a, what a, what a great thing. I, I'm, I'm excited to uh, see how it's received by the field and, the customers out there for Limbic Park would love to hear your stories. We'd love to hear um, how how it's working for you if you're feeling more vigorous, if you're feeling stronger, and uh, maybe like you used to back in the day. Um, Dr. Cook, we have we have got some fantastic uh, people out there that are sometimes wondering some what to do. They're not sure, and this is a chance maybe to go into a little bit of Q and A. If you've got a minute, I, I'll ask That's you a good. couple of questions. Sure. Um, we've got uh, this first question. Um, when taking supplements, I've been advised to take a week off each month. I would assume that means that they take supplements and then they take time off. Is this advisable with Limbic Arc Info Boost? Uh, I, um, well, the answer is it could be. Let me tell you what I do with vitamins, um, and then let me tell you the difference between that and Limbic Arc. Okay. Uh, I, d- I take vitamins and I don't take a week off every month. Uh, I'll take a week off maybe every three months. Uh, but at the same time, uh, if I run out of vitamins, I don't freak out and hurry and buy them. I'll buy them and they'll come in a week later and I'll start taking them again. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not really religious about it, but I do know that my body needs a rest from, from vitamins. The other thing I do is is I will uh, run a scan or I'll you know determine what I need and I don't always take the same vitamins. So this month for three months I might be taking you know a, a particular combination that's got some herbs or whatever in it and then in three months from now it'll change and I won't take that anymore I'll be taking something different. I think that with uh, limbic arc uh, you don't need to worry about taking the day off or the week off like you do with with vitamins. And I think the reason is, is because we get the variety. Every time I do a a spark scan, I don't always come up with the same stuff. Now, there may be a few things that are the same, but most of the stuff is different. And so I'm getting that variety, even though I run, personally, I run an info boost continuously. I call it my constitutional info boost. Uh, And then I'll tweak, you know, periodically during the month. So um, so I don't think you have to take the time off. That's the short answer. 
At the same time, I don't think it's a bad thing if somebody said, oh, I think I'll take a week off. Um, you know, you can go ahead and do it. Give well, it a try if, and see what you think. If you're running a voice activated spark scan, you're probably gonna see quite a difference. And in fact, I've heard a lot of people talk, uh, a lot of our customers and affiliates talk about how they track, you know, what the ingredients show high. And it, and it starts to give them a little bit of a history that has been meaningful for some of our yeah, affiliates as well. That's true. So, okay, um, another question. Um, we've got time for one more question here. Um, I'm looking for an info boost that will help with X, and, and I'm assuming by X, they're going to say some type of a condition or, mm -hmm. or maybe even a disease. Um, what boost ingredients should I select for um, X, whatever that may be? Um, what's, what's the standard answer um, to this? Well, the, the, the standard answer is we have to be very careful with answering that question because uh, and I've had people who send in emails and said, you know, I've got, um, and then they name a disease and they say, you know, what should I do for that disease? That if, if I start giving out that kind of advice, now I'm giving medical advice to people. And really what I would advise people to do is if you have a particular condition that you're interested in uh, improving, then I would do some research and I would say, you know, what are some of the holistic things that are done for X, whatever my X is, and, and see what you find on the internet or through the research, you know, if you go and look at some, you know, PubMed or some of those things. And then look in the library and see if you can find those items in the library. And if you can, then use those in your info boost. Uh, that's the way, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is you just do a spark scan. Right. And you just talk about X, you know, say, hey, I've got this problem and I'm interested in having it be better. And so, you know, in 10 seconds of that kind of conversation, that energy will then bias the scan in the direction of helping uh, the, the, the cloud and the database, uh, you know, the algorithm ferret out which items uh, would, would be most beneficial in terms of whatever you're talking about. But again, remember, this is not a medical tool. It's not a diagnose, treat, disease kind of thing. It's just a improved quality of life uh, technology. I, you know, I like the term wellness. It's a wellness tool. I mean, we assume that we're functioning and we're reasonably well, and we would like to improve our wellness. And if you're if you're sick or if you have some disease, then certainly you'd want to see uh, a professional that can help diagnose, treat, and cure. But if you're interested in your wellness, then Limbic Arcs may be a great tool for you. Yeah, and it's, and it's not necessarily the only tool. It's just one of the tools that you can use to improve the quality of your life. Right. Well, well I, I, uh, what, what, a, what a helpful thing. It's, it's exciting. That the exciting thing about Limbic Arc, in addition to having all of these new ingredients, which have been listed out, you know, a wonderful new info boost that people can use. This is all value that, that you didn't have just a few days ago. And, and it's fun to see this come every month and, and to see these new ingredients. Wellness might just be right as easy as uh, a spark scan and, and setting up an info boost. It's, um, it's an amazing tool. And uh, certainly I know Dr. Cook, you have, a very, you have a passion about improving people's wellness, you know, not just your neighbors or not just your friends, but literally people all over the globe. And uh, what a powerful tool. I think we can um, have a good impact, George. I think we are <laughs> having a good impact. I believe it. I believe it. So um, just kind of wrapping things up. Um, our next call is going to be September 30th. Can you believe we're getting there so fast? Five o'clock mountain time is when that will be. Um, in the meantime, if there are any issues that you have, we've got a fantastic customer success team. If you need help setting up an info boost or making some changes to your account or other things, just just call somebody in our customer success. Um, to find their contact information, go to the contact us section on limbicarc.com there on the website. And um, we will be sending out an announcement to everybody um, about this with a replay link to this program, to uh, this presentation. So be sure to do that and to share it with those that maybe weren't able to join. Also, if you want to find replay links to other topics that have been discussed in a call with Dr. Cook, um, simply go to 
um, the website and at the top of any page on the website, you will see um, a monthly call with Dr. Cook. And you can go and look at the different episodes there or why don't you go on our YouTube channel, like us on the YouTube channel for sure, you know, set it as one of your favorites and, and look through some of the topics there and find some great resources. So um, we want to make all of this content and this information available to help you on your path to wellness. So anyway, I guess uh, wrapping things up, we, we wish you all lots of health and lots of wellness and uh, enjoy Limbic Arc. We know it's a very powerful tool. It's so touching to hear the testimonials. And I would just say be well. So Dr. Cook, until next month, I guess uh, we'll say goodbye. Yes. Hey, thanks. Goodbye, everybody. All right. Thanks again.